Primo Canera faces George Godfrey. Philadelphia, 23rd of June, 1930. Big crowd assembled at the ballpark for this fight. Great interest in it, of course, Primo Carnera. Big following from the American-Italian population. And standing at around about six foot five, weighing in close to 260 pounds, an enormous, strong man. George Godfrey, outweighed by about 40 pounds. One of the leading black fighters in the world. World champion Max Schmeling and former champions Jack Dempsey and Gene Tunney at ringside. And already signs that Godfrey Perhaps not surprisingly, the quicker man on his feet. Good jab from Carnero, and watch for the big Italian trying to get through with those trademark uppercuts. Good right over the top, though, from Godfrey. Godfrey, to some extent, a fighter who's been avoided by the leading lights, and Carnera has got plenty of trouble in this opening round. Oh, that's a good right hand from Carnera. Godfrey takes it well, though. Carnera using his reach advantage effectively. Not too much between them in this opening spell. You see the great strength of Carnera just bullying his man around the ring. Flurry of aggression from Godfrey. Oh, good right hand and the left to follow up. But to just bounce off the huge Italian, there are two more big chopping right hands from Godfrey and Carnera takes them well Godfrey surely doing enough now to take this opening round with those rights over the top Carnera looking to the referee to get his opponent out of his face and that's the end of the first round not a particularly good one for Carnero. We join it now in round two. Again, Godfrey trying to get in close and then land with that big right over the top. Carnera is such a big man. Godfrey just trying to get inside and work away to the body to negate those long arms of Carnera. And again, there's good right over the top and a left uppercut and another right cross from Godfrey. Carnera keeps flailing away. But the crisper punches, when they do get through at the moment, are coming from Godfrey. Conera getting away with a lot of holding, dragging him down with that left arm. Another good right over the top from Godfrey with his back to us. And Carnera felt that one. Solid right hand.
Palmeira again and again just trying to pull Godfrey in with that left hand and pull him onto the right uppercut. So far, though, he's not been able to find the target, of course, Godfrey's chin. Huge support for Carnero, of course. Never before has an Italian gone so far in the heavyweight division. And second round over, probably once again going to Godfrey. Into the third. Godfrey very much the busier start so far and clearly taking the opening two rounds. Oh, good left from Godfrey. Carnera takes it well and holds on and tries to bully his opponent around, mauling and brawling him around the ring. Carnera's jab more of a pouring effort, there's no, there's no snap in it. And again, just trying to pull his opponent onto those uppercuts. That's a better work, good right from Carnera. Managed to double up well. say uncomplimentary things about Carnera's movement. He's ready to try and use the full dimensions of the ring here. Up on his toes. Godfrey having a close look at Godfrey's use of the head. This has been a much better round for Primo Carnero and the crowd starting to respond to it at ringside. A couple of those punches from Godfrey looked as though they went in low. Real fast pace being maintained by both men. clubbing rights with wicked intent. Third round, a better round for Carnera. Godfrey takes the first two, but Carnera certainly back into things now as we go into the fourth. Godfrey starting fast. Carnera trying to turn this into a brawl, dragging his opponent on again and again with the left hand. Good right-left combination from Godfrey, but Carnera showing he's got a good chin. And another good left hand from Godfrey. Carnera all the time, though, trying to work away and use that weight advantage, tire his opponent out. That 40 odd pounds of excess baggage may be starting to tell. Carnot actually works away more effectively inside than Godfrey.
Drogba not been able to repeat that success he had in the opening period with those overhand rights and that's good work again from Carnera again getting support from the crowd at ringside they're up on their feet momentarily as the big Italian got through with those combinations oh good right hand again from Carnera Godfrey really fancies taking him out with that right hand over the top, getting in close and trying to absolutely unload. But Carnero getting the better of the exchanges in this fourth. Building up into a fascinating fight. Closing seconds of the fourth round. Well, it would be interesting to know what the world champion Max Schmeling makes of this. See the reach of Carnera. Into the fifth. too much between them at this stage Godfrey started well but Carnera has come back into it starting to bully Godfrey around and the smaller man not having the success he did earlier on another good right hand from Carnera just clipped him as he came in oh now Carnera's down well what was that it looked like a low blow it looked like a low blow and there's no count from the referee and Carnera's in desperate trouble there. Godfrey's gone away to the neutral corner but Carnera's down and it looks to me as though that was a low punch. Let's take another look at it. Well, Carnera went tumbling down. It wasn't clear just what it was which did that. And the doctor's in the ring taking a look at it. The referee's having a close look at Carnera. And whatever it was, the big Italian's in desperate trouble. Well, we've got controversy here in Philadelphia. All around the ring, people standing up trying to see what's happened. And I can only assume that this is going to be a disqualification. It may well be that Carnera's going to get the verdict here. The referee, Tommy Riley, may be about to disqualify Godfrey and Carnera's winning run seems set to continue. It's on the comeback trail against Ray and Pelletier. New York.